my name is Gail. Welcome to the Raptor Center. Today, we're going to be talking about adaptations. Specifically, we're going to be talking about owl adaptations, and in particular, owl silent flight. This is a wing from a great horned owl, and what I want you to notice is that it beautiful colors, nice rounded shape, but what you want, it, if you were able to feel this wing, you would feel that it's very, very, very soft. The other thing you would notice on close inspection, this is a wing, the left wing of an owl, of a great horned owl, is the edge, the leading edge, it has a comb-like structure. Both of those things allow an owl to fly very, very quiet to the point where it's silent. The reason that that's important, of course, is because when this bird is flying after its prey, it wants to be very quiet. But the second reason is so it can still hear the prey as it's flying. So if it has to reorient, it can easily do that. So hawks, for example, hawks are a little bit different. This is a wing from a cooper's hawk, also a left wing. The shape is a little bit different, but if you were to feel this wing, it would feel smooth, but it wouldn't feel soft. And the leading edge does not have that comb like it does on the owl. So hawks and eagles and falcons, by the way, fly kind of noisy, but also faster than an owl. So an owl flies quiet, but a little bit slower.